such a unique store, so we thought we would bring you along. How's that? I'm a, I'm a, a big woman in a little hole. <laughs> Surprisingly, the fish are a lot littler in there than over here. Look tiny. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Oh, it's just a UV water uh, purifier. It's pretty good. I don't. If I'm using this type of stuff though, in the camping, I would just rather not have something to rely on electricity or. Something like this. Oh, in my in my opinion, anyways. So it's UV light. Yeah, that's cool. The one I have, I don't know if they have it. I don't see it here. But basically, it was like a, something that you would pump, and it would go through this whole ceramic filter. And of course, they have these uh, life straws too, which I haven't used one of these before. But if you had one at least if you didn't have something to, to drink out of true you just literally just put it right into the water and start drinking hey cutlery cutlery we use it for eating it's falling it's a hidden secret door right here is like the uh, thing that holds the door yeah, there's a key lock. Yeah. Look at it, it's bare. Is it heavy? A little bit. They say it's a two two people lift, I mean. You lost a leg, honey. I lost a leg. I broke it. You did. So it's like if you're doing outdoor camping in the winter or something? Yeah, like you would have one of those hot tents. Oh. But I just like the fact that it has a nice big surface here that you can put pots on or even just cook right onto it. It's got a little door. Yeah. And it has the piping and all that. And it's nice and long that you're able to put in good sized pieces. That's cool. And also there's like the bathroom. The reason why I would go with some smaller like these though, Hannah, it's just because it's a little bit more compact. And then this one right here. The nice thing about this though is you can do two at, at the same time, whereas this one it's a single thing. Right? Yeah, that would be four, I don't know. Yeah, 
that some I don't want to use. Yeah, so I don't know if you can put that right onto the fire. Unless it's the same type of material as like these. I think it you is. You might be able to put it right under the fire. The reason why I get these over that other one that was over here, even though these are nice and light, lightweight, if you got them too close to the fire, they're just gonna melt. So I'd rather get something like those, even though it might be a, a little bit heavier, I wouldn't have to worry about it melting. I don't know. I think between the, this one though and this one, I'd almost for that one. Over this one, because then that's you're a little bit away from trying to pull these away, right? Because anything like this, I would literally just put on the fire to heat up my drink. True. I'm not much of a hot beverage. Soup. Maybe soup. Yeah. Yeah. So literally put it on the fire, put my soup in there. Either drink it or mm -hmm. spoon it up. That would hold a lot. Because that's just all stuffed paper that's inside of it. I think the one I have though, or I used to have, had a little dent at the bottom. So you could literally do this up and basically press down. All the air would just come out of it and then you just tighten it back up. I don't know if I still have that one or not. Maybe this thing over here actually. That's the thing here I can do. It goes on top of uh, one of those butane. Butane tanks. Hello. That's really Hi there. cool. So that's what the unit looks like. That'd be perfect for camping. I don't know if it works on battery though or not. It's uh, it's 65 bucks. If it's if it's something for our house though, I'm gonna just end up saving up that uh, for that big electric one anyways for the garden area. I mean, it's not a necessity, but I just like the idea of it. I think it'd be too um, too far from the fire. I think though, because it's about. Oh, 12, 12 inches, 12 and a half inches in there. Not bad then. I do like these the nice little dehydrators, but the only thing about these is that they have like plastic trays, which I would love to have a dehydrator with the stainless steel trays. So I find when the food sticks to them, sometimes it's hard to get off and these can are fragile and can break, but it is a little thicker material than the ones that I have that are plastic. Something like this goes for about 300 bucks. attitude it says. Sa savage gear. Oh, it's a shrimp. 3D type TP. Thermoplastic elastometer shrimp. Ooh, yucky. Look at it. Are these nice? Are these nice spiders? What would eat a spider? Fish. Now these I do like. I like things like this. It's a poppin' frog. Nickel frog hook. It's a popper. If you've got one like something like this at home. Yeah, I think so. Booyah, baby. Something you need. I need it. Turtles. Split ring. Well, pliers just for. What do you use it for? For anything, for anything to do with fishing. I think 
think I've seen one of these at Walmart. Right I just there. can't get over the size of these things. We don't have fish even that could eat that in our lakes where we are. That's crazy. Let's pick that. I'm going to catch that. We should actually look to see if they have one of those uh, minnow traps. Like 19 bucks. I think we paid 20 bucks for ours. Yeah. And I've seen this one too before. It's way too big. Anyways, yeah, we'll grab one of these. Okay. We used to have one like that growing up. We'd put frogs in it. This here? Yeah. These are trolling motors, yeah? That's what we need for our boat. Yeah, there's one online I, I seen, but the price has gone up uh, since I've seen it. It was um, 60 or 65 pounds of thrust, I think it was, for about uh, 500 bucks. But like for a 55 pound, you're looking at anywhere from 900 and up or 800 even. It feels little. This one's fake. Like the pink? Try the blue one? Which one's better? Kind of like the blue one. Which one are you getting? I think I want to get this one. The orange, yeah. 